Hello, I'm Eric Singer, Gazette.com with Switchbacks FC, your definitive source for everything that is the Colorado Springs Switchbacks. The inaugural season is over for the team. Sadly, a loss at OKC sealed the deal. It was a great game, though, and the team has nothing to be ashamed of, and neither do the fans. Roland Vargas is now with head coach Steve Trichu to talk about the game and the Switchbacks' future. Thanks, Eric. Coach, difficult loss in Oklahoma City. Your first yeah. impressions of that result? Well, you know, it, there's a little bit of an empty feeling coming out of that game because, uh, you know, we, we came out, we had a good game plan. Um, we wanted a good start and to score, you know, within 10 minutes, it was great. And then, you know, hold on for the almost the first half. And, you know, we gave the, 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 the goal up in the injury time of the first half, which if we go into that, if we go into the halftime at 1-0, I think we have a really good chance of pulling that game out. But, you know, they, they tied it up and then, you know, obviously the game went into overtime. Both teams had chances back and forth. You know, they got a goal, and my guys showed great character. I mean, these guys, they could have finished it then and just, just ended the game, but uh, they fought back. Aaron King scored a great goal to tie, tie it. And then going into the penalties, you know, I had a good feeling about it. I was looking in the guys' eyes when they were off the field. Um, everybody, it, it seemed like they had confidence, the, the, the players that were going to take it. And then even Davila, I thought he was going to have a good one because, you know, we, we, we trained for the, the, the PKs for about three weeks when we knew we were in the playoffs. And, uh, you know, we, we had some good ones there, but, you know, it's just different than training and then going to the game. I mean, there's a lot of pressure on you there. And unfortunately, you know, Marty and, and, and Miguel missers, and uh, they made all theirs. But you know what? Great season. I can't complain about anything. And, uh, but there's just still that empty feeling that I got of, you know, it's, it's over now and now what do we do? But, um, you know, we're going to forge ahead and see what happens next year. Deep playoff run in your first season. How does that help looking ahead through the off season and into the beginning of next year? Well, there's still a good feeling. You know, um, we had we had player meetings all this week and talking to players. And, and obviously, year to year, there's always going to be some changes. So, uh, you know, we've got to get this team better. Um, and, and that's that's going to be the, the, the coaching staff's job. And we've actually already started. There's, you know, there's college games going on. There's combines we're going to. We'll have our open tryout. And so we've got we've got to get better in certain certain positions, and then we also got to get better at having a little bit more depth. And so uh, you know I, I want to keep a group the group of guys together that have really you know done well this year. Um, hopefully we can, and then we're going to try and get better because I know in this league you know talking to coaches from either the MLS teams or the non MLS teams they're going to get better and they're going to they're going to use their resources to get get better. So we've got to do the same thing and get out there and find some, some, find some players that are going to help us. You talked briefly about the open tryouts here in mm -hmm. Colorado Springs. How excited are you for those? Yeah, November 21st and 22nd, it's a Saturday, Sunday. It'll be at the Pride Complex again, uh, 10 to 2. You can get all the information on our website, switchbacksfc.com. But, you know, hopefully we can find some out of, out of here again. We, we found two players out of it last year. Um, and hopefully, you know, we'll get as good a turnout as we did last, last year. And then hopefully, uh, you know, we can get guys come, come and train with us and see how they do with the first team. But, uh, you know, we're looking for some local players. And that's what myself and Woldy, we're getting out and watching all the colleges now around here and seeing if we can maybe find a gem there from, uh, you know, one of the local colleges here. Because we, we need some lo more local players. And we got a few, but um, it would be good to develop some guys on our team to, to get to that next level. But help us next year in, in, in our playoffs. Think there'll be any spot for a very out of shape, over 30 year old male pattern baldness goalkeeper? Maybe you know any of them? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, you're welcome to come out. So, no, but uh, you know, we're, we're gonna try and do that. We're gonna try and find some players, and that's really gonna help us. And um, you know, hopefully, hopefully, we can. But uh, it's, it's gonna be a, it's, it's gonna be a short off season, you know, because there's a lot of things going on for us, there's not not, not, a, not a lot of break for us, but uh. You know, I, I'm excited about next year now, and um, and if we can keep that core of players together, and you know, the fans are going to relate to those players also again for the, that second season. But uh, you know, like I said, these other teams are going to be gunning for us next year, and they're going to be trying to get better. So we, we have to get better for for sure, and that's that's our main objective this off season. A little bit of seat expansion at Sand Creek Stadium. Yeah. How is it, how important is it for you guys to get those season tickets sold? Yeah. Get as many fans in as possible. Yeah, what I hear, there's more more tickets being sold right now, and hopefully, you know, we can sell that place out next year because we're we're going to try and be as exciting as team as we were this year. If hopefully more, but uh, you know, we've got to take care of our home field advantage this year for for next year. And you know, we we slipped up. I think what three times this year we lost we lost three games here at home. But we've got to make that 100 percent record. Uh, wins at home and that that's going to be our one of our objectives next year and to and also to play exciting so like I said that you know we've got if we can get that core group core group of players back together and then add some players we're going to be we're going to be fine coach thank you so much yeah. good luck in the yeah. offseason and I'll talk to you before the season right, starts you. Eric back to you thanks Roland and coach 
Of course, we'll make sure you are up to speed on everything that is the Colorado Springs Switchbacks. You can read it on the Gazette and Gazette.com. Way to go, Switchbacks, and I'm already looking forward to another great season of soccer next year in Colorado Springs. For Roland Vargas, I'm Eric Singer. Thanks for watching Switchbacks FC.